morning, friends. Greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements in my practice where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable and you know you can overcome any health issue. That's why we're here every day on the bright side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs or the longevity products or skin health or ingredients or formulations or something you may have heard about or read about, we want to help clear up confusion on the bright side. 844-236-6010 is our number. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have questions about the longevity business or comments or success story, which we especially love hearing, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side today and every day. And if you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear recommended or advertised in the program, please call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470 or head over to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. Those are our blogs. We update regularly with blog posts as well as news stories. You can also go to benfuchsarchives.com. All our programs are archived at benfuchsarchives.com and also brightsideben.com. And if you're interested in purchasing any of our truth treatment products, including our 5% retinol gel, head over to truthtreatments.com. That's truthtreatments.com. Okay, we're talking hyperpigmentation of the skin, melasma, skin oiliness, hypertension, inability to heal, inhibition of uh, or suppression of the healing process degeneration, inflammation, immune diseases, which is basically all chronic degenerative diseases. They're all immune and inflammatory uh, uh, health challenges at their core. All of these issues have one single thread that runs behind them all. They have one thing in common. They're all manifestations of a long-term stress response. The stress response is wonderful. Praise God we've got a stress response that's housed largely in the adrenal glands, but it's only supposed to kick in once in a while. And once it kicks in, it's only supposed to kick in for a very short period of time. So when we talk about stress as being the cause, we talk about stress as being behind hyperpigmentation and skin oiliness and high blood pressure, et cetera, we're talking about long-term chronic drip, 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 low levels of stress that never ends. For some of us, it just goes on and on and on and on, pretty much for our whole lives, except when we're sleeping. And you know what? Sometimes we don't even sleep. If you have a problem with with insomnia, rest assured, you got the chronic, long-term, drip, 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 slow, low-level stress. This is what insomnia is about. I get all kinds of letters from people who can't sleep. Sure, melatonin will help you sleep, lithium, GABA, even niacin. There's lots of things you can use, magnesium, there's lots of things you can use to kind of calm the body down, but as long as you have this stress response that's kicking in, the body isn't going to let you sleep. You know what? We may be stupid. Human beings may be dumb. You and I may be dumb, but the body is not. If the body perceives that its life is at stake, and this is what the the stress response really is about, it's a survival response, if the body perceives that there's this survival threat, it's not going to let you fall asleep. It's not going to let you make a baby. It's not going to let your blood pressure go down. It's not going to let your digestive system work. It's not going to let you heal. It's not going to let you build. See what I'm saying here, you guys? Behind it all is a body in distress. Behind every one of our health challenges, you will find the chemistry of survival. And this 
stress response, this survival response is controlled or mediated by hormones, meaning we have a stressor, and that stressor can be physical, it can be blood sugar stressors, it could be toxicity that's coming in through the digestive system, it could be uh, problems with respiration, lack of, uh, lack of oxygenation, or it could be psychological. It could be a credit card bill. It could be a, a problem with your kids or your wife or your relationship. It could be the news. It could be something that you hear about on, uh, that's, that freaks you out that you hear about on CNN, whatever. You get a, stress, you get a stressor that comes into your life and str uh, specific hormones, stress hormones, are secreted from the adrenal glands and the, the stress response is initiated. The response begins. So stress leads to hormone secretion, then the stress response, be it hyperpigmentation, hypertension, oily skin, or whatever. In other words, once stress hormones are released into the body, the body will respond in multiple ways. And these responses, when they occur over and over and over again, and they never end, are behind our health crisis. And it's not a doctor issue. This is the reason why the medical model is a failure, an utter and complete failure, an embarrassment, really, for chronic degenerative health issues. If you're a medical professional, you should be embarrassed of your profession when it comes to treating, uh, when it comes to dealing with or treating chronic degenerative health issues. I'm a pharmacist. As a member of the pharmacy community, I'm embarrassed about how pharmacy works, how it poisons the body. If you're a medical, if you're a doctor, you should be embarrassed too. It's a, a disgrace, really, to take money and to position ourselves as healthcare professionals, and we have this epidemic of chronic degenerative disease, but no matter because it's all something that we as individuals can take care of ourselves. So the stress response that follows the hormone secretion, that follows the stress, can be high blood pressure, oily skin, dark, a melasma, dark spots, a suppression of the digestive movement leading to constipation, sometimes a loosening of the lower bowel that leads to diarrhea or loose stools, suppression of immunity, suppression of the protective response, all these follow stress hormone secretion. There's four major stress hormones. You've got adrenaline, that's for immediate action. That's for super duper emergencies, quick action. And then for longer term action, cortisol. And then estrogen for an inflammatory response. The inflammatory response also is part of stress. And then you got the fourth hormone, the one that nobody talks about, the one that we've, we've been talking about here on the bright side. It's called aldosterone, poorly recognized as it is. That's our mineral control hormone. It controls blood pressure, and it's the one where the so-called ACE inhibitor drugs work, Cozar, Losartan, Zestrel, Prinavil. I remember when I, uh, when I was in, uh, practicing retail pharmacy, there was a drug called Vasotec. It was a revolutionary high blood pressure drug. came out, I believe, in the late 1980s, early 1990s. Since then, all these other ones have come out. These are ACE inhibitor drugs. I'm not going to tell you what ACE stands for. It's all complicated. Well, angiotensin converting enzyme. That's what ACE stands for. But it doesn't matter. The way it works is by suppressing aldosterone because aldosterone is a, a, a high blood pressure hormone. It increases blood pressure. So by suppressing it, you lower blood pressure. This is how the medical model works. This is how the pharmacy model works. Let's shut down enzymes. Let's shut down chemistry. Let's poison the body, and then the blood pressure will drop. Uh, okay, that makes sense. I'll poison my heart, and then my blood pressure will drop. I'll poison my, my uh, aldosterone stress hormone system, and then my blood pressure will drop. Brilliant. Brilliant strategy. Anyway, aldosterone goes up in response to stress. Salts and electrolytes come out of cells and into the blood. Water always follows salt. Remember this, water follows minerals. Minerals suck up water. If you've ever taken the Beyond Tangy Tangerine and you've ended up with loose stools or cramping, that's because of this property, this effect. The Minerals and the electrolytes in the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, there's so many of them, it's so dense with these minerals and electrolytes. If you do too much all at once because water follows minerals, the minerals will not get absorbed if you have too much or you're not absorbing properly. Water follows those minerals and you end up with loose stools or sometimes cramping. Water always follows minerals. In the case of the blood, aldosterone releases minerals into the blood Water follows minerals, the blood volume expands, there's more fluid in the, in the blood and the pressure goes up. But there's a problem, after that, you lose your minerals. And that's a big problem. We'll talk about that when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben, you're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. 
are back on the bright side. We've got a couple lines open for you. 844-236-6010. We'll get your calls here momentarily. If you're interested in purchasing any of our truth treatment products, including our retinol 5% gel or omega-6 healing cream or truth serum or truth balm, all made with lots and lots and lots of vitamin C. Fat-soluble premium vitamins, not the cheapo kind that you get at the drugstore, not the cheapo kind that you get at the salon or the doctor's office, but the good stuff, the lipophilic premium vitamin C. And this is why you only use tiny little, bi tiny little bits of the Truth products that last three or four months per jar. You can find out all about it at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. If you want to purchase any of the Longevity products, the ones I take, the ones I recommend, the ones I've taken and recommended now for 18 years, you can head over to brightsideben.com or criticalhealthnews.com or also uh, pharmacistben.com, order products right off the website, and also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off the website. Okay, 844-236-6010 is our number. We've got four major stress hormones, cortisol, which we talk about all the time. That's a, that's a kind of long-term stress hormone, relatively long-term. None of the stress hormones are supposed to be secreted for too long a period, but over the course of hours, perhaps, Cortisol helps manage the stress response. Adrenaline is for instant, uh, instant response to stress. You ever see those, those movies or, or uh, the, the stereotype of the little old lady lifting up the car because a, a baby is underneath or these, these great feats of strength that are performed by people when there's an emergency? They're usually operating under the control of the hormone adrenaline. Everybody's heard of adrenaline. Cortisol is a more longer acting stress hormone. And then estrogen, believe it or not, and you guys listening to this program know this because we talk about it all the time, but most folks don't realize estrogen is really one of the hormones that mediate the stress response, particularly when it comes to immunity and inflammation. The fourth stress hormone is the mineral stress hormone. That's the one that raises our blood pressure by uh, in, uh, in enhancing the movement of minerals out of cells into the blood. As, move, as uh, minerals move out of cells into the blood, water follows. Water always follows minerals. That's called osmosis. Water follows minerals. Has, uh, has an os minerals have an osmotic effect. They pull water. The water goes into the blood. It raises the volume and the pressure increases. Here's the problem. As the minerals are leaving the cells and entering into the blood, Eventually, they get excreted through the kidneys. Well, they're water soluble, they go right through the kidneys, and ultimately we lose our sodium and potassium and magnesium and our calcium and our chloride. That means the more stress we're under, the more likely we are to be mineral deficient. The more stress we're under, the more likely we are to be electrolyte deficient. Electrolytes conduct electricity. The more stress we're under, the more electrolyte deficient we become, the lower our body's electricity and the more we feel like crap. This is called adrenal fatigue. And it's the result of a long-term stress response that leads to mineral depletion from cells and mineral depletion from the body. That's why the more stress we're dealing with and the higher our blood pressure, the more important and helpful it becomes to make sure you're getting your electrolytes via veggies, fruits, and other living foods, including nutritional yeast, which is a wonderful, amazing, amazing nutritional food, living food. You know, when you nutritional yeast and brewer's yeast, they're alive. You're actually eating yeast cells, and those yeast cells are loaded with minerals, loaded with selenium, loaded with magnesium, loaded with B vitamins, loaded with electrical nutrients. Put a little yeast on your salads. Put a little yeast in your in your uh, smoothies. And don't worry if somebody told you you have yeast infection or candida. It's a completely different yeast. It's not the same thing. Eggs and sprouts and veggies, these are all wonderful ways to replace electrolytes. And if you're dealing with adrenal fatigue issues, it's a must. It's not optional. Get a Vitamix, get a Nutribullet, make fresh celery juice. Throw in a couple of beets or a couple pieces of beet and you'll get some flavor in there. Celery tastes great anyway. And always mix salt in. Celtic sea salt, that is, with your celery juice, with your vegetable juice, the combination of the electrolytes and the salt and the water and the vortex, the spinning vortex of your blender will generate an electrical charge. You'll be drinking electrical energy. One of my all-time favorite living foods is oysters, raw oysters, which are great sources of electrolytes, especially potassium and sodium as well as magnesium. The more stress you're under, the more adrenal issues you have, the higher your blood pressure, especially if it's high blood pressure, a combination of high blood pressure and, and oily skin, and high blood pressure and melasma and dark spots,